you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can I just have all the brothers th that are left? I want Derek to pray over the men. Every man in here, glory to God. I want him to pray. Just line up. He doesn't have to lay hands singularly. He's just going to pray over the men in the name of Jesus. And then, Pastor, if you don't mind, after this, I want to blow the shofar because when we're finished, we're going to blow because it's a new day. Uh, it's the Jubilee. It's supposed to blow. So you're not blowing yet. You're going to pray for us. Are we, do we have all the brothers? Are we all here? Gans all here. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that you are interested in men, men's hearts. You are interested. And as, as the Lord, as, as Yahuwah, the Father, as he gave me this word, everyone hearing my, the sound of my voice, everyone on Facebook to hear, it is time for you, as it says in 1 Corinthians 11, the proper order. The head of the man is Messiah, is Jesus. The head of Messiah is the father. And the head of the woman is the man. This is the proper order for peace and rightness. Because as men go, so goes society, so goes our community, so goes our nation, so goes our world. Hence, we see and we understand and we're not taken aback. Father, we are not taken aback by the things and the attack on the men of this world. It is time right now, hear the sound of my voice and hear this word. It is no longer time for you to bow your knee under the authority, under the head of anyone else but Messiah. You stop bowing your knee to your employer. You stop bowing your knee to pornography. You stop bowing your knee to... Um, insecurity to inferiority every spirit every uh, every entity there is only one that you should bow your head to there's only one head and that is Messiah you come up underneath him and he will ensure just as much as he was raised from the dead and he stands alive today that your household will be saved that your families will come into unity and he will restore you and he will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. No more, no more shall this, the seed of the serpent bruise the hill, the seed of the woman. We know this is a prophecy, the first prophecy about Messiah coming. But we de declare right now that these men will step and crush the head of the serpent. We declare that we rise up and we take our places no longer afraid, no longer ashamed, for there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Messiah, Yahushua, Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And we declare right now that we, we are a, a, a unified people. We unify, we rely upon uh, our, the men. We rely, Father, upon the, the men and the authority that you've given to us, that we will rise up and take our places and stop bowing our knee to every other authority but you. Father, we thank you for that. And now as we get uh, blow the shofar, we declare that every wall, everything that is hindering the men in this room, the, everyone hearing, the, the men that are hearing the sound of my voice, every wall must come down as it did with Jericho. It must come down because that is the natural order of things. When we stand up, and we declare freedom. We declare the sound of the shofar. Blessed are those who know the sound, the mighty sound of the shofar, for it's a sound of freedom. It's a sound of freedom. So take your places today and stand up and stop allowing the enemy to take away what is rightfully yours, what has been given as a gift from the Almighty, from the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Stand up. 
sons of Elohim, sons of God, and take your place and rightly rule, first and foremost, your, li your own lives. Rightly rule your families. Be, be men of, of justice. Be men of justice. Care for the poor. Care for your family. And don't be ashamed to speak my name. Don't be ashamed because he is putting fire in you even right now. And as the sound of the shofar blows, the walls, everything that's been hindering you, every wrong relationship that you may be in even right now, I urge you with the earnesty of the Spirit of the Most High to repent and to realize and to come back and be restored to the right relationship to the right relationship. Thus you will be blessed and he will make sure that you will enter the land. He will make sure that you will remain free because you have submitted your hearts. You have submitted everything and you have surrendered to the proper head. Let the alignment and the proper authority reign in this place, in these families, the family, God so loved the family, it is precious to his heart. Don't wound what is precious to the heart of the Father. Find out who you are. Find out who you are in him and submit to the proper authority, the head, Messiah, Jesus the King. Thank <laughs> you.